No, 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 no. My kill, my kill, my kill. Yeah! <laughs> Not gonna let you suicide yourself there, friend. What's up, friends? This is Money, and welcome to my top three best assassin robots in the game. Robots whose job it is to go in, single out a target, delete it, and get back out. And that's what you're gonna get in this video as a video compilation, so let's get right into this. Starting with number three on this list, the Loki. With various different setups with needle or with the new shotguns or older shotguns, even flamethrowers, you can use a lot of things. I did use the showdown drone here for more damage when we dropped the stealth. Also here, Castrell drone. Even the armadillo drone could work. And of course, the Chester pilot, that's kind of a have to because it allows you to have your stealth longer after dropping it. So let's get into gameplay. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with the first Loki assassination run. And you see we're using the harpoon weapons because they're really good for that. But you can run anything, the new shotguns, the older shotguns, pretty much anything works really well on this setup. Um, and the stealth will help you to stay alive even in really bad situations. Now I'm going to phase shift out of it uh, and just bail it for a second, regroup, regroup and keep going, right? That is the Loki playstyle being super Loki. <laughs> and also this compilation here, ladies and gentlemen, it's one of those where I told you uh, I sit down longer and create something of more quality for you so you can enjoy it more. And uh, yeah, I hope you do. And if you do, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done it yet. I really appreciate it, guys. And uh, also the point of this video, I should really make that clear, is not to get you the most powerful set setups that kill things. Because of course that I would have to give you the Orokochi and the Afion and whatever the heck there is. But what I want to do with this video is giving you fun assassins and do what a Loki boy does. That's right. Coming in here and uh, finishing off this guy first, pup. Then we're going to continue with him. There we go. Nice battleship support and keep capturing the beacon. Nobody spawns here. Great. That's the Loki playstyle. It is not just an assassin for killing, but it's also kind of an assassin for beacons. Because you can, like, steal beacons away from the enemy instantly without too much danger. Of course, there are things that can go wrong with people run quantum radar stuff. But uh, overall, you have a good time with this thing. And uh, even most powerful setups like... Uh, this guy here, for example, would be a trouble for me, but I can just go away, activate another stealth, and then come in and deal damage to him uh, with my little stealth a duration that I get. Then we're doing it again. I'm not quite sure why his frontal shield is still there. That surprises me a little bit. I thought that thing was gonna break quicker. All right, here we go. Doing this again. Now his shield is broken. I can enjoy my last stand, drop as much shield as I can, and do a battleship support also for adding corrosion damage. And then I can... Normally I can book it. But there's too many things now on us. Alright. That is the bad guy that will take out enemies like this. Okay? And then we just enter into a stealth. And then we keep doing this on the other side of the map. Of course you have to be afraid of quantum radar. Um, but most people are not having it. And with this you can do really cool st stuff... Always find an angle at the enemy from the side or something. And of course with these new shotguns here, you also do a ton of damage to your enemy. I just got hit. 40% of my HP in an instant lost. That is pretty crazy. I got it, not gonna lie. So he's got quantum radar in his flight with the legendary pilot. Instantly locked me down, of course. But from here I can do some good damage and bite hit points away from him. Ah, he's almost dead now. Then we're gonna enter the stealth. And that's when he notices he can no longer shoot me. Alright, and I'm gonna undrop my stealth and let's drop him. Pop, pop, pop. Even through his stealth, I was able to focus him out. And another kill. See, the Loki is an absolute beast. And he still deserves the role as an assassin. Because he does exactly that really freaking well. Uh-oh, an enemy titan is there. I hope he doesn't see me. Because if he doesn't see me, I can do this. Boom, boom. 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 Wow, he does a lot of damage to me with his shredders from so far away. I'm a little surprised. I didn't expect those shredders to hit, to hit, hit like this. Alright. Um, let's get a better position from where I can shoot without getting shot. Like here. Alright, reload our weapons. And see if we can fight this guy. Or we help out here. We have uh-ohs. We have different choices, but any choice that sits in front of the Newton Titan ready to strike is not a good choice. All right, see, let's see what the Newton does. Uh, no, not the Newton, the Loki. He just changes position. And we get quantum radar, we just face shift. There we go. 
Then he comes out of that, and we're gonna start to f unfold our damage here and drop him. Uh, by the way, did you guys know about this button here? It changes how you see your hangar and you can scroll through your robots much faster this way, which is awesome. I've never seen this before. Since when is this button here? Anyways, but there's still one really important thing missing, ladies and gentlemen. It's a filter system. I would like to filter items by rarity. I would like to filter items by what I type in. Open a little text sign and uh, type in SCO. Okay, and after typing this, I will only see scorpions. It's such a simple function. Why do we not have this in the game? I don't understand. And welcome to number two, the Lynx robot. In this case, used with a Brisant shotgun, which is really, really insane. But also here, the harpoon stake and uh, many other weapons. Even Glory is extremely pow popular on it and powerful. With this particular setup, face shift really important here, in my opinion. Shade Drone does a great job with a double last stand. Also something to uh, consider, but also here, Kestrel Drone even an armadillo drone or even the whiteout drone would work. Of course, a legendary pilot for increased ability duration helps a lot as well. They see me rolling. We're using the new Brisant shotgun um, and seeing what we can do with this thing. All right, because of course, as a new weapon, this will be extremely powerful. Uh, can we even go through the shield? No, it seems we have to uh, get down to shield first uh, on the shell robot, which is fine. I'm going to stay a little bit further away from him so I don't get hit by his explosion. But then we can come in and deal some good damage to him. Look at the damage he's taking. It's crazy. I'm going to activate my stealth now. And after the reload, it's death time for him. Before he can even uh, score any damage on his final explosion. He wants to defend the beacon, I think. But it's not really going to work very well. So he's reloading now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish him off. Boom. Boom. And boom. Three shots. There we go. So he's quantum radaring right now. Uh, means I, I don't need to go into stealth. This guy is here. Okay, now the off your lands. And that is my moment. Bop, he's dead. Ooh, wow, I almost dropped him completely. So I'm in a really bad position here because there's a lot of enemies all around me. But I can still navigate this minefield pretty well with the Lynx. You'll see that it is rather... It is quite possible to just not get killed too much. All right, you know what? It's enough with you, buddy. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop him now. Let's first take him and then do him. Okay, good face shift, but it's not gonna last long. And boom. There we go. I still have full HP. And that's why this here is the number one... As uh, the number two assassin. Exactly because of this reason. See, this guy, he even was in his resistance right there, and he couldn't do anything. And I'm still navigating inside the enemy base here, and just dropping everything left and right. I have zero respect for, for anything they throw at me, because I also have a, fa uh, uh, a shift, um, a force field built into this robot. Remember, aside from the execute ability, this robot is also equipped with a force field that basically makes you take no damage for, a, for the first couple of shots. So, uh oh there's a Newton Titan. If possible, I don't want to get lifted up by him. Here is a very powerful Fenrir tank. Okay, now I can get lifted up because I have a face shift ready. See if we can come in here, attack the Newton, activate uh, Cloak. We're st ah, dang it, we're now suppressed due to his passive suppression thing. Wait, is there a, a fly? Is there a hovering uh, healer mender above me? Oh, no, it's... Uh, okay, I thought it was a healer mender and he was hovering because <laughs> he got lifted up. And we're still ruining their spawn. We're still completely spawn raiding them. Look at this. This guy probably had his reflector. You see how much damage he's taking from the Brisant shotgun. Getting away from his frog splash. Sweet, not getting... Uh, not getting... Uh-oh. Okay, he lifted me up, but he can't follow up with an attack. So I didn't use to need to use my face shift. I scouted that for a second. I just looked... Where is he? Can he see me? No, he can't. All right, good. I'm good to go. All right, activating stealth now. All right, you know what? Let's see if we can attack the Newton Titan. He's going to lift me up now. There it is, but he just used his ability, so I'm good for a second. And now face shift. Bop. He's going to fire right through me, and I still have a last stand after this, and I also have my stealth that I'm going to activate now and see how the Newton Titan gets whooped. And then this guy... Oh, okay, I have to reload, it seems. All right. Uh, I think he's gonna start to fly. 
Yeah, and he wants me. I knew as much. I was figuring as much. All right, so let's get up here to the side. Still in, still in the game. The Brizan shotgun is carrying this match for us pretty well because it's very powerful. Let's start with him. Boom, boom, boom. Then turn around, finish him. Pop, pop, and pop. There we go. This is number two on the assassin scale, ladies and gentlemen. Hitting him with an airstrike that will probably trigger some kind of action on him. He is too close for homing bullets to work. He's coming over here now. I can shoot over cover where he can't shoot over. And pop, there he goes. That guy spawns in and that guy is pretty much dead already. Is he gonna come left, right, left, right? I don't know. Ah, uh, you know what? I think we can actually kill him in the air. Yep. Sweet. What a freaking beast this is. What an absolute beast setup. Okay. Alright, I don't know what that was. Now, if you thought the Lynx did a good job, then let me show you what a well-played Scorpion can do. This is the winner, the number one, especially with a Kestrel drone and the Ash pilot, and of course these new shotguns, but we'll see different setups as well. Together with this layout, let's hop into gameplay. Alright, so jumping on the enemy in Scorpion's favorite game mode, Team Deathmatch. One, two, and that's it. Bye-bye, dude. Nice. I'm hopping here behind the corner. Um, by the way, alternative um, drone setup instead of Kestrel that we're using here would be the Whiteout drone uh, against the enemy uh, abilities to trigger a Blackout every time they, uh, you know, uh, they, they get jumped on by you. Or the Armadillo drone for resistance every time you kill an enemy. So there are many different setups what you could do. Um, let's see. This is a nice position, by the way, for a Scorpion. Does this guy know I'm here? No, 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 no. My kill, my kill, my kill. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna let you suicide yourself there, friend. All right. Uh, corner shooting is also an option. Very well possible with this setup. That kills his turret. Let's reload and let's do the ultimate jump. Two, one, and hello, friend. Boom. 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 Two. Freaking crisis killed and back in my corner. That is how you play the scorpion and now you understand why this thing is number one on my list even above the lynx, right? Because this is really crazy what you can do if you play this thing correctly find the right position Okay, he's down to last stand All right and kill I don't even need to see through his stealth uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, jump back, jump back, jump back. Holy smokes, he almost killed me with that. That was freaking hilarious. I did not expect that. He almost killed me with this. So, how do you like my corner shooting? Uh oh, now we have an enemy scorpion doing the same thing with me. And he gets stealth. Where is he? Is that him? I think that's him. We have to eliminate him before he does that again. Pop, pop. Oh, it's not the scorpion. That's the scorpion here. No! Something solid goused me from behind! No! I, ju I was just gonna kill the scorpion and then teleport back as, nothing as if nothing happened. But something solid goused me from behind with a single shot. But it's not worthless to be here. Okay. From here shooting over there. Uh, boom! Oh, I thought I'd get the kill, but somebody else got it. Okay, he has a shield. He doesn't want to fight the Orokochi. I understand you, buddy. All right. So, still kicking. So, there is an uh, enemy leech. His leech ability is ready, of course. That means I take a whole bunch of extra damage that I didn't anticipate. But, well, of course his ability is ready. And this guy is done before he could do anything. And that guy as well. Boom. Now, more battleship health. With the durability extender. Living legend. Let's keep going. Boom. 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 So you're going into stealth there. And living legend. Jumping on the titan. Reloading the weapon. Two. One. And hello friend. Boom. Boom. You think you're a titan and very dangerous to me? No friend. You're not. Boom. Oh, one more shot and I would have gotten him. Two. One and boom. 
There we go, yeah! Isn't it ironic that this is the same situation and pos position on the map that we were on a second ago? Uh, when we when we did the same thing with the Oro... Uh, with the... Ah, not Orokochi, what is it? Uh, the, the Lynx robot. Only one enemy robot is left. We can hit from here very hard. Lots of damage. Up. Okay, so... I guess that is number one. An alternative setup with the... Uh, well, with the new flamethrower, as you can see right here. That thing kicks some serious butt. The ultimate version of Blaze and uh, Igniter. Uh-oh, I missed the opportunity to jump back. Whoops! <laughs> that was not intended, dude. I'll have to wait a couple of seconds before I can do it. So bullets are coming in from different angles. Okay. Can I... I can corner shoot, probably. Yep, I'm corner shooting here. <laughs> the guy jumps away. Somebody down there, yeah? Okay, I have to reload. Where's the guy down there? All right, we're jumping away from here. It's too hot, too hot. And that is what makes this scorpion so amazing, is that you can just do that. Pop, and now you're all the way somewhere else. So this guy is sniping us, but look how fast the flamethrower kills him. Holy smokes, and this is a freaking sniper map. This isn't even the ideal condition for this scorpion, but it still allows you to do this just as well as any other situation. Jumping behind enemies at max range is nuts, okay? All right, so he's coming in. Also, we have the wideout drone, which allows us to black out enemies. They can't jump back. He, for example, I'm sure he wanted to teleport back, but he was uh, EMP'd for five seconds as he jumps on you. As you have already seen before, this is a really interesting combination and probably the most, the most tricky thing you can run uh, to really mess with your opponents. Look, it's 8-0, we're already in the lead, because that thing is just such a kick such a kick ass. So this guy here, he thinks he's safe. Let's show him that he's not. And boop, the whiteout drone disables. Oh, actually, wait a minute. It didn't actually disable him. All right, I gotta jump back at the last second here. And boop, death. <laughs> Even the angler couldn't do something. This is so insane, man. It is so crazy. What a beast of a setup. So here we have now enemies coming in. They uh, want to finally end us, but well... I got, first off, I have some backup, and secondly, I myself, I'm also rather difficult to take down. Alright, let's get behind cover here. It is so insane. What an awesome setup this is. So let's, let's take a look at this guy. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Okay, so that is it. My top three most fun assassin robots in the game uh, that are not necessarily the most powerful and overpowered things, but they still work in singling people out and deleting them without giving them too much of a chance to fight back. Excluding, of course, things like Orokochi that you simply cannot kill, not even with an entire team. But aside from that, this still works, and I'm enjoying the fact that there is not a brand new meta bomber in this list, but in fact, older setups that are still working. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Hopefully you had a fun time, and I'll see you in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Get killed. Yes, nice. Okay. Also a really nice position here. I'm flying higher than the harpy up there. <laughs> Hello, harpy. How are you doing? How's the air up here? Oh, why am I asking you? I I, I can ask answer this myself. Oh, and I got him as I dropped. Sweet. Oh, he wants me. Look. Oh, he wants me. Leave me alone. Don't do it. Don't do it. I said don't do it. Okay. You want it? You can have it, brother. You can have it. You can have it. I'm gonna follow you to the end of the earth. No time to survive for you. Oh my goodness, this is also really an assassin, man. Jesus. Uh-oh! Ah! Okay, the Mender boy there. He's my target for the moment. Then we have a Titan to shoot. He's probably gonna use his stealth now. Uh, no, his ability. Okay, let's, let's get back in cover if we can. Nice uh, airstrike on the enemy with corrosion and also giving myself added health. Look at the damage even the Titan takes. Getting away from him, activating the shield. After his reflector, he's death. 
dead, I mean.